That's interesting. We come to Greg's now. Okay. <laughs> Just a little update. HM Revenue and Customs, we all know that, don't we? The word revenue, what does that mean? Money. And the word customs, what does that mean? Money. In their legal speak, this is what they mean by it. And tax, what does that mean? Money. And the word credit, what does that mean? Money. And what do offices deal with? <sighs> this is Great Britain. But you notice Liverpool and the Great Britain in capital letters. Hmm, they must be corporations, eh? Yeah. Anyway, when you go on the inland revenue and you look at things like stamp duty and things like that, all they talk is money, 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 money. So if you want a conversation with them, you can have a conversation. It'll go something like this. Money, money. And they go, money, money, money. And you go, money? And they'll say, money. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm digressing a little bit. This is the point, because for all that money talk that they're talking, now, please check the weight, yes, and use the correct postage stamp, because they don't give you the free post anymore. That's gone. I don't know if that's something to do with the, the Royal Mail being bought out and made to be a private business but there you go here's some more changes please check the weight well they, they set the standard of the weight don't they? they they create the paperwork so they're directly putting that on you and you have to pay for it yourself in order to get something you know whether it be tax credits or you know uh, child benefit or whatever you know income support you're gonna have to pay at least to contact them and uh so far, the prices of Royal Mail are quite cheap, relatively speaking. Still expensive when you add it all up, because if you had to do this a lot of times, it's going to make a lot of money for these corporations, isn't it? The corporation. Yeah, have money, 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 money. I wonder if money penny works for them. <laughs> money, money. Okay, last time I came past this, I promised myself I'd do a video. I was just do, doing a quick little video. This is the start of a cycle path, okay? You might notice, yeah, there's a the cycle sign. A couple more cyclists. And here's the second. Yeah. Clearly the arrows indicate the direction, so what you're meant to see. And there's another six. And then, on this bit of path, not too far away, this one. So, uh, <clears throat> my question is what's that? Eh? Six. And a six, and a six. Three sixes in a little area. Right. Is that is that a speed limit? What is that? Give me your uh, thoughts. Okay, well I've heard of Route 66, but this is kind of ridiculous. There's a six on that, and there's a six on that, and there's a six up there. You know what I think's going on? This is just my observation, right? Because this is in line with the back of Asda, and Asda's in line with the, what we call the ley lines in this country. So there's another six way over there, yeah? Just to prove it, right? Because this is another s stretch. But it's quite unusual, because this is a hardly used bit of road but there you go and there's the other six up there so the thing is what is this what's this supposed to symbolize yeah it's a, 
any little bit of road, a lot of markings for a tiny bit of road. I've seen, you know, longer paths without as much marking and, you know, money being spent on them. So, what's the deal? Give it to her. Can you move my car? <laughs> yeah, I can't move. Down. I have to move wow. it back. I want to move this car. Just keep it coming. Have you had your say yet? Yeah.